WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very cloudy Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we got a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. You've got trading to the downside. Dow's off 16. Semis are down 15. Tradies are off 16. New York Stock Exchange down 17. To the upside, the s and up 4. NASDAQ 128. Russell's up 12 points. That's a 6 tenth of a percent move to the upside. You've got gold trading off six bucks with silver trading up 28 pennies. I told you it was a mixed bag. Light sweet crude is up 71 cents, trading out at 74.65, natural gas up a penny, 30 year treasury is up five ticks, printed out at 123.26. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini upper left hand side. What do we know about it? Well, what this chart doesn't tell you is that today is going to likely become a TD nine count top. We just need a close above bar number five. I don't remember the number off the top of my head. We'll look at that during the Trader's Edge show. Spot volatility is still below its 50-day exponential moving average, but we can see it is got a rising bottoms pattern in the face of a rising S&P 500. If that pattern exists, that's an indication of a top. If we take a look at the NQ, it's trading above the 1.272 expansion of its last set of swing points. That's at 16.975, but it will confirm or, or that will complete its TD9 count top today. Price should pull back to its oscillator and change line right around the 16.847 level. U.S. dollar index still remains below the bottom of its daily profile, but it does have weekly support at 101.60. We're trading right now at 101.86. Goldilocks, just a consolidation with inside its profile level support down at 2017.90 and resistance 2062.90. Same thing with silver. Consolidation price testing the top of that uh, profile level. Top of the profile is at 20. 479. The high today, 2475. Support is between the 2390 and 2412 level. Lightspeed crude is likely targeting the 7755. I do have two different sets of profiles out there, so we'd have to look at my white background chart. So I know it's trading into a sell zone out there, but nonetheless, should be able to target that 7755 level. We take a look at natural gas consolidation with inside its daily profile. That's between the range of two dollars and twenty-four cents up to two forty. That's your resistance level. And finally, the thirty-year Treasury, which does have a sell the D point pattern, just been moving sideways now for two days, trading with inside its very narrow banded trading range profiles. And that's between one twenty-two fifteen and one twenty-four oh nine. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z show. But if it, if you're off to start your Wednesday, have a wonderful one. Please join me tomorrow morning, bright and early. We'll record the show between eight and nine. Have a great day, folks.